Whoa. Off to a good start. Off to a very good start. I'm keeping it in. That's what she said. Um, all right, folks. God, the uh, exposure's been messed up there. Oh, look at that. It's an entity. Um, disappeared. Do it on the fly. Uh, welcome to another beer review. <clears throat> As you can tell, a little bit pissed. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I'm a knobhead. But uh, yeah, so we're going over to <laughs> Black Lodge. And this is a can of A Better Land, which is a pale ale brewed with Amarillo and Atsaka. 4.8% ABV. Um, I purchased this through the uh, web shop. And, well, Adam was doing an order and he asked if I wanted to add any beers. So I thought, yeah, you know what, I'll pick up a few. I like Black Lodge. And, uh, yeah, this was one of them. So, lovely artwork, as per usual, from Black Lodge. Lovely colour scheme as well, yellow and turquoise. So, we've got time and tide glass for this one. You were going to be poured into a dimpled mug, but then I realised that I've got dirty glassware, so I just rinsed out with water. Anyway, so, beer in the glass then, and would you look at that? You can actually see through it, slightly. So, it's not just a another juice bomb but yeah lovely sort of amberish hue to that one uh poured with two fingers worth of a white foamy bubbly looking head so let's see what we get with a snail with a swirl and a sniff not a snail and a swift oh show all that that reminds me of a cherry bake one You know the icing off a cherry bake well. Oh wow, that's weird. Yeah, there's like a subtle hint of frangipan with this. Very soft, sweet, fruity aromas. Subtle, subtle, subtle hint of citrus. Now I've mentioned that, I'm getting lemon drizzle cake with a bit of uh, ice and or uh, an iced finger oh wow that's lovely a lovely sweet light malt flavor coming out on the nose oh that smells nice anyway let's give it a taste cheers folks Oh man. Joe, you know this is remind me of like an old school fruity pale ale. Malts are coming through quite a lot. I wouldn't say it's delicately hopped though. Um but it's not like a really immensely hopped beer. Mm. Oh, it's tasting lovely, that. I like that. 4.8%. It's got a lovely medium mouthfeel. Oh, that's like definition of a sessioner. And I'm still getting that sort of like sweet, like iced bun sort of character. Yeah, I'm getting like a really nice, if you've ever, well mind you, if you bake, you've done this loads of times, but with ice and sugar, a bit of water, that thing you make, I think, obviously, but you'd like squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. That's what it tastes like. It's like an iced bun with a hint of lemon, and I like it a lot. Delicate bitterness on the back end. Not extremely sweet, just the, just the right amount of sweetness. 
beautiful malt build on this beer. Crisp, clean. Oh, it's so good. This is really good. Oh, the intake. Getting that cherry bakewell flavour. That's really nice. That is really, really nice. It's a really nice. It's delicate, but it's flavourful at the same time. Playful. We're going to go with playful. It's like a it's like a playful virgin in a hammer film. Um, but yeah, lovely stuff. So that's a better land from Black Lodge. An absolute winner from these guys. Really impressed. Hopefully 2021 is a good year for these folk. Um, had Well, thanks to Adam, I tried a lot of their stuff in 2020 and I've been very, very impressed. A consistently good brewery. And uh, one of those ones where I might treat myself to a mini keg. Because I know they do those. <laughs> but yeah, a mini keg of this would just disappear uh, very quickly. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. What a pleasant, satisfying beer that is. It's got a little bit of old school about it as well, which I do like. So that was uh, Black Lodge, A Better Land. Massive, massive thank you to uh, Adam for picking this up and dropping it off for me with uh, a few other, um, a few other Black Lodge beers as well as others. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a lovely, pleasant pale ale. And uh, reminds me of simpler times with the uh, the brewing scene here in the UK. And that's that's that could be a big seller all year round. It's got that sort of feel about it. But lovely stuff. Definitely go check out their website and their web shop. I'm not sure if they do national delivery yet. Um, but if so, highly recommended you pick a can of each, whatever's available. They've got some really nice merch as well. Um, but yeah, links in the description. Massive thank you again to Adam from Mersey Beers. His links will be in the description as well. And uh, yeah, I've reviewed quite a few Black Lodge beers. So if you do a little bit of a search on YouTube, um, you can watch those because I'm too lazy to uh, put them all into playlists. Because I'm scum. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. You all take care. And uh, I'm very surprised that I got flavours with the fact that I'm a little bit pissed. But um, yeah, this is lovely stuff. Very nice indeed. A six pack of this would just be chef's kiss. See you later. Take care and stay safe.